Good day, good day, good day, everybody, and welcome to another Talk to Me in Afrikaans video. And guess what? We are going to do those two words over there. Welcome, and I hope you're doing well. The dog has just gone away for a few seconds while I record this, so we won't get bothered by her. Um, and yeah, we've got these two things. Now, essentially, both of them sounds like key right? Something key, something key. It's literally the same sound. Um, that T and D depends on what happens in front of it, right? What happens in front of it. Now, I believe it's to do with vowels and stuff, but fuck it, we don't care. So we are going to go with this one first. Mart, Mart is a friend, but we generally in Afrikaans, we use friend. But maat is a friend, right? But listen to this. Mikey, Frinky. It's, it's literally... That denotes like something small, like you're a kid, they will have my keys. You know, they will have my keys. Now, we don't really care about the, you see, as you see there, the D comes in or the friend <coughs> ends with a D, so it's just a J-I-E, right? Um, but it's usually a D-J-I-E. Now, it's a key sound. But we don't really care. Friend is what we usually use when we're talking about friends, right? But Mikey pronounced... Wow, I can type today. My key pronounced Mikey is literally a kid's friend, right? A small friend, a kid's friend, right? Um, so usually when you are a kid, you would say Mikey, and as you get older, you go over to Frint, right? The top at the top there, and then you've got something along the lines of. Now this is going to be a little bit confusing. You've got slung, which is snake. Uh, slung is pronounced slung, which is a snake. Slung. -a, which is essentially pronounced slung -a, slung -a, are snakes, right? And now you get to the next one. Slungiki. Slung -a -ki. slung -iki. Probably slung -iki. Let's try that. Slung -iki. slung -iki. Which is a tiny snake, of course. Which is a tiny, tiny snake. You know, I could do a joke about a tiny snake, but we're not going to say that. Tiny snake, all right? Um, so that's, that, that's one thing that I've always, when I was a kid, <clears throat> I would literally, if I had to figure out how to spell something and whether or not it should have a... a um, like, for example, slungiki, I would go snakes, T-J-I-E, slunga, ki, right? Slungiki, slungiki. Um, and that's just how I taught myself how to write words like that. I'm trying to think what other words could have the, wow, chocolate key, chocolate key. Oh, wow, yeah, chocolate would be a chocolate key. Oh, yeah, let's try this. Uh, S-J-O-K, chocolade, which is, holy shit, how the hell am I going to get you guys to say that? Um, chocolate, chocolate, La, 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 let's try that. 
de, which is chocolate. Right, which is chocolate. And now you go, oh, now I hope I can spell this correctly, chocolade key. Tiny chocolate. Uh, let's just try this. Chocolade key. Tiny chocolate. Tiny chocolate. You see, things get difficult, or not difficult, but things get interesting the moment you add. If you want to make the, what is it called? There's a word for it in English, but you want to make a word smaller or uh, when you're talking to a kid, you go like, oh, that's it. Um, and we're talking to a kid, so here's a, here's a chippy. You know, chippy is, uh, chippy is one of the things that doesn't say, um, that doesn't have the T-J-I-E. But if you want, when while you're talking to a kid, you'll probably talk to them with the, what do you call it? Minimized version of the word? The smaller version of the word? What do you call it? You know, the kid version of the word. Yeah, the kid version of a word. Um, but then you've got the whole IE thing, which also is, it. it's really not important that you need to know this. This is just a more an interesting thing. And um, yeah, so... Th that, that that's basically it. I'm literally freeballing it right now. I have no idea what I'm doing, what I'm trying to say here. But yeah, so if you hear, especially if you hear the key word after a, an Afrikaans word, the we say I'm going to pronounce it as key, but it's either T J I E slash slash D J I E, right? When you hear that word, it's probably they're talking about something small, or they're talking to a kid. A kid will also use a lot of these kid words, if we can call it that. I don't know what you call it. But, um, for example, close friends would sometimes refer to each other as Mikey. You know, close friends. But it's literally, um, it's literally just used, if you hear the following word or Word followed by the following key. Most of the time, it's something smaller, right? You know, most of the time. When someone says car key, that means literally ticket, as we've had in the previous ones. And in now, here's the cool South Africanisms, right? Here's the cool South Africanisms that we're going to look at, right? That's the there's some cool South Africanisms we're gonna look at in the next um, in the next video. Some more interesting stuff. Um, um, and uh, yeah, I'll find some more during the week to give you examples for where it's like holy crap, people. If you talk to a South African and they say some of these words, it might it will mean something entirely different than what you would think, believe it or not. Believe it or not. But that is the end of this video. And I want to say thank you, everybody. So just, just a quick refresher. Remember, if they add the key thing to most to a word, it's mostly they're talking, they're probably talking to a kid or they're talking about something small, like a slangy key. Ha ha. See, I almost did that joke. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So it's, this is some South Africanisms you guys will need to know. Uh, they don't mean what you think they mean. And there's some interesting stuff behind it. I'm going to find some more during the week to add to this list to have a lacquer, nice, either massively long video or um, a two-parter video due to South Africanisms. We're going we're gonna to delve into that a little bit. Um, but yeah, thank you everybody for watching. We've reached that point. So I'm going to say it again. Thank you for watching. Hug some you love today. Tell them you love them. And until next time, have a good one.